We're just like the mail, baby. I'm still gonna send it. <laughs>
But yeah, you put a tiny bit of grease, just enough to catch a lot of the shavings. And uh, you won't have to deal with sh saving, shavings in your pump. So yeah, about to put the um, little set screw in this one. This one's in. It says, go like in like 5 sixteenths. That's just a rough measurement. I kind of just eyeballed it. It was a good guess, because all it has to do is be below, what does it say? Ensure the set screw is fully seated below the surface of this pump stator so that the set screw does not create any interference with the pump body. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty perfect because it bottomed out and I gave it like a little and yeah, that's where it sits. So I'm happy with that. This one is cutting the passage for the cooling, whatever. This is the poor man's end mill. So what I did, you can kind of see the lines. It kind of sucked, but all I did was take a you know, caliper, old style, not digital. Went to like 1.5, because it said I, it's in between these two. So I went to like 1.5, scratched it, then took a screwdriver, scratched it some more. The lines aren't perfect, but I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it good with a little die grinder. All right, so we got a little piece right there. We got that out. Look at that, look at that. That little, mm, it depends on how you look at it. It's all right. Um, so it goes to a depth of 60,000 to 90,000. I just took a drill bit that was about, I don't know, 80,000, 90,000. It was close to one, but just kind of slid it in here and move, moved it around. And the depth looks good. I mean, it's, it gives me a pretty good tolerance to be in. And that's it, because that other mod is already done. And it's to point one, two, five. Oh, shit, there's one more. Or no, wait. Oh, yeah. Well, one more. Got to drill down in there. We're in. So, yeah. Uh, do a little punch action and then a little drill action. All right, clean up the edges on that a little bit. A little fucked it up a little bit more, but that's fine. Got that one, but you can't see it. Uh, now you can see. Got it drilled. Um, there's not really a depth you got to go to. You choose you go, and you'll feel it kind of sink itself into the channel. Um, you know it's good. That's been there. Put that up in there. Lock tight, of course, or a little thread locker. Putting the pump back together. I picked up this tip from my builder. It's to center up everything. Oh man, the camera's dirty. And to make it go in easy as possible into the transmission. Yeah, so these are like 190 inch foot pounds. That's what I found on Yellow Bullet. That translates to like 15, it's like 15, 16 foot pounds. So same shit. That's back together. About to drop this thing back in there. Putting the pump back in. You hear it? Did you hear it? I heard it. Bolts need sealing. Oh shit, I need to put the bell housing back on. Man, I'm tweaking. Yet another day above 100 degrees. Um, it's been a couple days. I got everything in and the car's down. But yeah, I got the tune up. I got the solid state relay in for um, changing the ground output to a 12 volt signal to the dump valve.